I'm Peter Glassford and I'm a cycling coach with Consummate Athlete and today I'm here at Hardwood Ski and Bike to show you how you can get faster without pedaling. Pumping is the act of applying pressure to work with the terrain. And you might have seen kids playing in a pump track or, or in even like a BMX track, but it's not just for kids. It's something that we can use to get over a speed bump on our road bikes. And it's certainly something we can use on the single track to move safely and efficiently through the trails. To pump effectively, you need to get up out of the saddle and into your ready position. You're going to get those elbows bent, knees bent, and your face is gonna be about over your stem. And you're gonna apply pressure to those pedals. You're gonna have that weight in your feet and you're gonna try and get really heavy, try and even compress your suspension, maybe almost like you're testing your suspension or seeing if your tires have enough air in them. And then you're gonna let that unweight. And that's all pumping is, is this rhythmic pressure application to work with the terrain. When you're working on pumping, what you're trying to think about is getting heavy for the downhills and light for the uphills. So on the downhills and into that flat bottom, the lowest section of the series of whoops, we're trying to really apply that pressure. That's where the suspension is compressing, the tires are compressing, so that we can be light and sort of quickly get up the uphills. Part of what makes this work is that the aggressive position, the ready position, that has us centered on the bike. If we're too far back, we're gonna get stuck on the uphills rather than being nice and heavy and fast on the downhill sections of the pump track. Sometimes it helps to visualize a low branch or a low ceiling over top of each whoop. This will have the effect of, of making you stay low, but also let your arms and legs pull the bike up underneath you or let the bike come up underneath you as you roll over each obstacle. We can assess your ability to pump and work with the terrain by seeing how far you can roll after pumping over a series of rollers. Similarly, if you're in a pump track, which is a round or, or figure eight series of whoops, you can see if you can get around the whole pump track without pedaling. Mistakes to watch for with pumping are sitting down, staying too connected to the saddle while we're standing up, so maybe squeezing the saddle, moving too fore and aft, so sticking your butt back to try and pump. We also wanna make sure that we're not doing big, slow squatting motions. Instead, we wanna be thinking about really explosive, almost shorter, almost like a jumping sort of, or skipping motion. To progress your pumping, you need to spend time both in a formal pump track or on a series of whoops, but also using that pumping motion on the trail. There can be some tremendous gains simply by getting up out of that saddle and using that pressure application to work with the terrain. <laughs>